Mark, Professor Dewey, tell us about radiological studies at Charité. So imaging trials at Charité have a long history. We started with the Catman study, which was randomizing patients to get either cardiac CT or cardiac catheterization and showing in this single institution, Charité only study, that there was less procedure complications by doing CT in patients with suspected cardiac disease. This has now led us to a pan-European study, the discharge trial, where there is either CT or catheterization done, but together with 31 partners in 18 countries in Europe. And we just recently finalized recruitment of more than 3,500 patients in this randomized study. Explain to us the uh, aims and the approaches in the context of Guide IT. So Guided is uh, a data sharing initiative um, that we pushed after having done a European Society of Radiology survey, which showed there's more than 400 such imaging trials ongoing or done in the last five years in Europe, and that 98% of those trial investigators said they would be willing to share data, but they didn't find a home to share data. That's why we came up with Guided as an idea to bring up a concept which will finally have a platform ready to share patient data and image data from such radiology trials. And there are additional barriers to doing that, right? Yeah, there are some barriers, right? Ethical barriers, patient consent barriers, IT barriers. But we're certain if we come up with a great team, which we seem to have accomplished through the ESR survey, that will also find great solutions that will finally have a good home for much of the imaging research that is done worldwide. So what exactly are going to be the next steps for this? So that's a great question. So after having uh, done ECR, where we'll be meeting with the guided uh, project team first time, we'll push for getting funding for that initiative to further broaden the approach beyond even Europe towards a more global uh, project. One additional point, what about interoperability of data? What about formats of data for exchanging that? Yeah, it, it needs to be totally open, right? Uh, no matter what kind of DICOM data or which clinical research uh, um, product you use to collect patient data, it needs to be open, at best an open source tool, which is very flexible. And we'll conceptualize this the next years. Will there be a promise of integrating data exactly? Will there be a promise of integrating data, for example, from pathology and genomics? Oh, this is for the very long run, but we certainly are very, very thankful that at Charité, Michael Hummel is leading the biobank for pathology specimens. So we learned a lot uh, in discussions with him about how to setting this up for radiology. The good thing about radiology, of course, is we can copy our specimen as often as we want.